Welcome everyone to another video from AviatorTraining.com. My name is Chris Palmer coming to you from Alaska. We've got a glacier right behind us right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up and do a series of uh, stalls and also slow flight. So for this video, you can check out the other videos, I'm going to set up for slow flight. The idea is we're going to get the airplane in a slower configuration. We're not going to hear the stall warning horn. But we're going to get it flying really slow, kind of like we're in the pattern, okay? The idea is, is that we need to know how to fly the airplane slow and the differences in the control movements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw back my power to 1600 RPM. That's what I like in this airplane. And immediately pull my car piece so since I'm at that lower range. Now I'm pulling back pressure to stay on the horizon. I'm also keeping a heading, okay? And I've already relieved my control pressures with my uh, trim. And I'm going to start introducing flaps down in the white range, and we're going to get even slower. So this is going to take a lot of uh, power, a lot of uh, rudder. The aileron isn't going to be as effective, but we're going to stay right at this altitude on this heading and see how we do, see how slow this airplane flies. Now when you go and do your test, the FAA does not want to hear the stall warning horn. As I get closer to the, uh, the stall, I need to start adding in that power so I don't sink. So you can see that here on the altimeter. But I need to start adding in that power and so my airspeed doesn't bleed off anymore either, all right? And so what I want you to do is you need to get set up to where your power is set, your trim is set, and you can almost just fly hands off with this thing. So you can literally just fly with your rudder. I need a little bit more trim here. I'm going to do a turn to the right with just my rudder. A little bit of aileron encouragement there. Okay. Just a little bit of rudder movement. There it is. It's coming around nice. Nice and easy peasy. Right at that altitude. You can see these are stuck right there. And I'm just flying with a couple fingers is all I'm doing. Okay. Just some little turns here and there. We'll do another turn back to the left here. Now we can also do, in the slow flight configuration, we can do descents, we can do climbs, and kind of see what that's like, all right? So I'm going to keep it coming back around to the left here, and I'm going to start to climb, just to show you what that looks like. Okay, so I just added the extra power that I had. I could even get rid of my car beat if I wanted to. That's going to give me an extra little boost. And so now you see a little climb happening. I'm still remaining coordinated with the airplane. And I'm just staying, you know, under under about 10 degrees of bank. 10 to 20. You could probably even do 30. But the, the more you do, the closer you get to that stall because of uh, the increased load factor as you increase your bank. Okay, so now we're coming around this direction. And again, just little movements here and there. We're in a slight climb. And this will train you that when you're in the pattern doing those different legs and, and when you're in these configurations, how you're supposed to move the power and the controls and what is really effective in those different situations, all right? So that is slow flight, just a very simple demonstration. It's all about that rudder work. It's all about just the little tiny movements here and there of the yoke, although the ailerons really don't do too much. And here we are flying super slow, all right? down near the, the bottom end of that wide arc. So that is Slow Flight, guys. Check out our other videos at, uh, at aviatortraining.com here on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button and also share with a friend. Until next time, throttle on. Fly on over to aviatortraining.com for online ground school, podcasts, videos, and more to become or grow as an aviator.